Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Alvis at Montgomery College where I teach an Introduction to Linguistics course. Uh, knowing parts of speech is not linguistics. Uh, rather, it's information that educated people know, like knowing basics about history or psychology and so on. So before you take an Introduction to Linguistics course, it's essential that you know basic parts of speech. You may them know them all well already. You may know them just somewhat, or you might need more review. So let's review them quickly. First, let's talk about nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. Uh, an easy way to exemplify these is with a word family. A word family uh, uh, is a group of words related by their root word, uh, root word forms. You'll see this in a minute. So uh, let me give you the words. Here's the noun substance. Here's a verb substantiate. Here's an adjective, substantial, and the adverb, substantially. I think you can see now why I call it a word family, all of this substan in them. Uh, but they are different because of the parts at the ends, what we call suffixes. So uh, CE makes that a noun, eight makes this a verb, AL is on uh, adjectives, and LY is on adverbs. Uh, in addition to this, we can talk about some of the grammatical features. So for nouns, I can add an S to it, which makes it plural. Uh, moreover, once it, it, it is a noun, uh, we can add a, uh, a verb after it, right? Make it a, a complete sentence. Substances are something. And uh, this noun is now a subject in the sentence before the verb are. And we also know it's a subject because we can't use the verb is, which is for singular nouns. Substances is plural. It must be substances are, not substances is. Uh, with verbs, uh, you can add ed, or just d in this case, to make it a past tense word. And because it's a verb, we can put something in front of it, a subject. Let's just use she. She substantiated it. So we have this pronoun in front of the verb. She substantiated something. Uh, for adjectives, we can add words in front of it, such as very. Uh, this word uh, uh, intensifies it. It modifies this adjective. Um, we can also put something after it. Uh, an adjective generally goes in front of nouns, so very substantial problems, for example. Uh, in this case, the adjective substantial modifies that noun. Uh, adverbs. As for adverbs, uh, there are a few things we can do with them. Generally, they modify uh, uh, verbs, and so substantially uh, improved, for example. Okay. So, um, if, this is, uh, if this is something you understand, great. If not, stop and watch again. It's not too hard. Uh, now, some other important parts of speech include conjunctions, such as but, and, and so, uh, prepositions, such as to, of, with, and so on. Uh, we have uh, pronouns, uh, such as uh, he, uh, she, and others. Uh, we have uh, relative pronouns, such as this, that, and so on. Uh, we have relative pronouns. Um, who, which, and others. Uh, these are some basic parts of speech that uh, generally people know, and I might have thrown in a little bit of technical vocabulary. And there are a lot of other details, but these are some basics that you really should have some knowledge about uh, before you go on to the uh, next, well, you know, go on to the next lectures here. Okay? Good.